Hey guys, so in this video tutorial I will just be going over the redstone basics. Uh, but before I start, if anyone knows how to uh, get Camtasia to record Minecraft without the lag, that would be a great help. Just leave a comment or send me a PM or something. Um, anyway, back to redstone. So uh, we have the redstone and we also have a few little built-in game functions that uh, we can use to uh, activate it or modify it. So uh, basically, redstone in its off state uh, can be seen by it being dark red uh, with no particles coming off it. Uh, redstone in its on state uh, can be seen with particles coming on it, coming off it, and it goes from a uh, bright orange through to a dark red color, uh, depending on the strength of the power. Uh, at the moment, the strength of the power really doesn't mean anything. Um, it's not going to change your circuit in any way. However, that could be a possible thing for the future. But anyway, we've got um, our lever, our redstone torch, wood platform, stone platform, and buttons. So there you go, you just saw the, uh, the mob walk over the platforms and activate the redstone. This is useful in making traps, especially with the dispensary. Oh, one more thing. Dispensary and the, uh, the jukebox. They can also be used with redstone, however, I will not be um, going over those in this tutorial. So as you can see here, the redstone is off. By changing the lever, we can turn it on. So off, on, off, on. Now, as you can see here, uh, we just have the redstone torch uh, on its own. So this is always going to leave the redstone it's connected to in an on state. If we get rid of this, off, on, off, on. All right. Um, redstone torches are really important in the creation of circuits, and um, as we go into more more detail, uh, you will see that just because it's on does not mean the redstone will always be powered on. But that's something now to look forward to once we get the basics out of the way. So uh, then we have the wood platform and the stone platform. The wood platform. Um, and the stone platform are really good for some mob traps so basically you have a zombie walk over it you can have a dispensary lined up and you can have it shoot arrows out of it and last but not least we have the button so as you can see here uh, activating the button will activate the redstone for a short amount of time now the button and these two platforms here will uh, have extra use once they bring the piston out so uh, that's also something to look forward to with redstone now before I was talking about uh, how the orange to red gradient uh, talks about the strength of the power. And that basically means, uh, well at this point in time, redstone is fairly limited in the fact that it can only travel 16 blocks. The power can only go 16 blocks. So on the 16th block, which is this one here, no more power will be provided. So as you can see, no particles coming off it, it's the dark red, it is in an off state. Now it used to be if you wanted to extend the uh, extend the redstone another 16 blocks, you actually had to have, or actually had to build a knot gate, which was really impractical. It took up lots of room and it was just a pain all around. So uh, there was a mod brought out for a repeater. However, Notch implemented this I think in patch 1.3. Don't quote me on that though. So basically, uh, the repeater will just extend it another 32 blocks, but it also has other uses, which I will go into detail in other videos. So uh, it's a little tricky at first to get used to, but basically you stand facing the direction of the current, which is this way, and you place it. And as you can see, this enables us to continue the circuit. Now what I meant by was it can be a little bit tricky at first is uh, it has to be placed like this. Okay, the, uh, the initial torch on its own must be furthest away from the stone. You can't have it like this, like this, or like this. So as you can see, depending on the direction I'm facing, depends on the direction it is placed at. That's basically all there is to talk about in the, uh, just this introduction video. I will be putting up more videos soon on the different circuits you can make and practical uses for those circuits. Uh, I hope this video helped guys, so enjoy! 